Hi everyone, so the first lesson we started getting into um, hypothesis testing. So this is the second lesson, we'll have a look back at some of the stuff we've done, maybe a bit more information about it. So we're saying here that when we test the hypothesis test for a normal distribution, we're looking for evidence that the mean has changed. And what you want to see is if the mean is far enough away, if you like your sample average, your sample mean is far enough away from what it should be to cause a problem. So remember that idea that we set it up where we test against the fact that the, the mean is, is where it should be. That's what we're kind of doing. Then we have the alternate one, a counter example. <coughs> so it's a one tail. If we're looking for something that's got smaller, we look down the bottom end. If it's a, a one tail and I want something bigger, I'm looking at the top end. Now the two tail, so say for instance it was um, a 10% significance level. That would be looking to see if it's in the bottom 10%, if the probability is smaller than 0 0.10. And the same here, that if it's in the top 10%, the probability is smaller than the top 10%. Whereas with a two-tailed test, with my 10% significance level, I split it both ends, split in half. So I'd kind of have equal at both ends. And if it's a 10%, then I'd have 0 0.05 down the bottom, 0 0.05 at the top. So it splits halfway. So there's some examples here for setting up. So it says, bars of chocolate are claimed by a manufacturer to have a mean of 102.5, 102.5. We want to see if it's less than, so that makes, that makes sense, doesn't it? Should really have a mu equals there, shouldn't I? A mu is less than 102.5. If we look at the next one, it says the mean factory assembly time for a particular component is 84 seconds. So we're saying that mu is 84. Uh, I just want to see if it's different. So if it's a little bit vague, it tends to be a two-tailed test. So that would be that mu isn't equal to 84. Let's try and find a bigger one, then we can just leave the other two. So the third one says, in a report it was stated that the average age is 53. Mu equals 53. So you want to see if it's an underestimate. So we're actually expecting the ages to be higher. So 53. But there's another two there you can have a go at if you want to. I'm just quite wary of the time really. I've changed room, so I'm back on the five minute. Right, I'm going to stop that now and I'll start this example. And I'll do the two ways side by side. What I might do is pause, pause bits because I've got five minutes and set it out so you can see it. Remember that not all stats teachers talk cobblers. So the null, the alternate, the significance level, the tail, the test stat, and the conclusion. Right, I'm going to stop there.